I think there's very little doubt that she will go down as one of the most consequential justices to have sat on the Supreme Court. My first meeting with Justice Ginsburg was when I interviewed with her. I remember being extremely like nervous about it. I don't remember the content of it because I was so nervous I blacked out basically. I was very, very nervous, uh, but she really kind of set me at ease quite quickly. She's a very soft-spoken person and has uh, sometimes a bit of a halting speaking style. So you're always cautious to make sure you don't want to be the one cutting off the justice. I mean, good Lord, don't do that. People often ask, well, what is Justice Ginsburg really like? She's an incredible power in terms of her her commitment to working. Justice Ginsburg is such an amazing mentor. She is um, incredibly meticulous and she works really closely with clerks to try to get every word in her opinions perfect. She is the toughest person I've ever worked with. Her ability to keep going and going and going, no matter what is going on, is simply unmatched. Well, the year that I was clerking for the justice was a year of a number of very high profile cases, two cases challenging two so-called affirmative action programs. These were the Gruder and the Gratz cases. One of her biggest opinions, I think, was the Skilling case, which concerned you know, the proper interpretation of honest services fraud and recognized that it had to be limited to bribes or kickbacks. Bush v. Gore was the most unusual case of the term. I think Justice Ginsburg was the, just a paragon of calm temperament and did not let the heat of the situation get the best of her. So what was it like working for Justice Ginsburg? The justice is a night owl and I am a morning person. Often we would find uh, ourselves exchanging drafts at different times of day. The justice typically arrived late and stayed very, very late, stayed later than uh, really than all of us. You would frequently come in and find messages on your voicemail that were dated in the wee hours of the morning. If she wanted to talk to us, she would always buzz us on her buzzer, like this weird intercom that we had, which is, you know, if I hear that buzzer ever, you know, uh, <laughs> these days I still, my heart rate goes up because you're just sitting there, you know, researching or whatever, and then the thing goes Bzzz! and it means there's a justice in the Supreme Court who like wants to ask you some hard question about law. I think the justice is ultimately very warm to all of her clerks. We really feel like, have, you know, a part of an extended family of sorts. There's this tradition of having little celebrations for each person's birthday in chambers. We'd sit in her office. Oftentimes, Marty, her husband, would have made some food that she brought in and we would share it. I did go to one opera with her. I think she saw that as uh, a bit of an educational mission for most of us. I could see how excited she was to be there, but that did not rub off on me. Sorry, this. sorry. If you had asked me in 1997, did I think Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg was going to be a pop icon? I would have said no. Oh, that's a Ginsburg. Ginsburg, the Notorious RBD was just getting started the summer that I started working. And it was fun to sort of explain some of the memes to her. I have a finger puppet that somebody made. It is kind of surreal to have worked for somebody of whom there is a finger puppet, I have to say. I think first and foremost, she'll be remembered as one of the preeminent champions for women's equality. She is confident in her own skin, unapologetic about her beliefs. One of the things that Justice Ginsburg taught me that I always keep in mind in my practice now is that cases are not just about the law and the development of the law, they're about real people. And for her, these cases were very much about helping those individual people. When you look at her life, you look at all the obstacles she's overcome. For me, the one explanation is she just has a certain level of willpower that I've never seen before. To have as an icon for our country and era, this amazing woman, is just a, a, a great thing to see.